Alright, so some people have been asking me how to make a CO2 racer like I have right here. Um, my, our instructor gave us all of the materials we needed, uh, so I don't know the dimensions of the block of wood you're supposed to have or anything. But uh, what you will need is the block of wood. I would suggest using a uh, styrofoam block of the same size to practice on. Um, your paint, the wheels, the axles, uh, some straw. That's what we use. We use straw, just slightly bigger than the axle. Um, we have some washers here. And yeah, paint. <laughs> if you want to paint it. Uh, so, anyways, you also need graph paper. Because you'll start out with the graph paper, you'll trace an outline of the side of your block of wood and of the top of your block of wood. And just set it on your paper, trace it. Easy as that. And then, what you're going to do with that is you're going to draw your uh, CO2 racer from that. It gives you an idea of what you have to work with, how you're going to work it. Uh, like for mine, I mean the block came out maybe that much further, so I drew the skinny piece, maybe narrowed it down a little here, it widened out, then it got skinnier all the way down to here, it widened out again, and then I made the nose. And that was the top view. Side view, as you can see here, I, I started out at the top where the uh, they had the pre-drilled hole at, came down, went back up, came back down, made the nose of it. That's how I made, uh, that's how I drew mine out. Uh, then you'll take those, you'll cut out the block, the entire block, not just the picture that you drew, but the entire outline of the block, and you'll tape it to uh, either your styrofoam piece or your actual block of wood. Uh, then what we did, we just taped it to it, and we ran it through a bandsaw or any other cutting uh, machine that you have there. Trace the outline of it as you're cutting. That will give you a rough shape. It will still be cubical looking. But uh, after you get that done, then you can take sandpaper and start sand. Oh, I have sandpaper. <laughs> ah. I lied. I have some material. I have sandpaper and wood. Uh, so anyways, take your sandpaper, start just rubbing it on it get it that finished look that you want to give it um, really quite simple uh, you've got to drill your holes for your axles um, the CO2 cartridge hole if you don't have a pre-drilled one uh, I sanded mine rounded the edges on it um, I took a little I, I honestly don't remember what it's called. It's like an electric screwdriver, but instead of a screwdriver on the end, you've got like a little a, a sandpaper bit. Um, if anybody knows what that's called, you can leave it in the comments. I'll add it to the little sidebar thing if, in, if anybody knows what it's called. Um, but I took that and I sanded down this area right here for the eyes kind of gave it a more aerodynamic feel to it. Um, once you get it sanded down and everything, I mean that that's just about it. Use use a heavy grit at first, a real not not fine but a heavy grit to get it into the rough shape, and then use a fine fine grit to sand it down, make it nice and smooth. Uh, then if you want to paint it, uh, just stick straws or whatever through the axle holes 
so that you don't get paint clogged up in there. Uh, we used spray paint. We just sprayed sprayed the sucker down. Uh, to get my paint job on here, it was easy enough. I took a strip of tape, put it down the length of this, and then sprayed it black. And then once that had dried, I took the tape off and put tape along the white. Sorry about that. Um, you've got to prime prime it first. Uh, to prime it, we stuck a stick in its CO2 hole um, and just prime the sucker. Just prime it up, make it all white, make it nice and smooth. Sand that down some, make it even smoother. Uh, once you got that done, then I taped it off. Then I spray painted it black. Took the tape off once it was dried, put tape down the sides of the uh, white strip then, spray painted it green. Um, after that had dried, I had to touch up some spots with a uh, Sharpie. You, you probably can't see it on the video, but it, up close and personal, this is a very ugly CO2 car. I mean, the, the flaws on it are just numerous and nasty. The eyes, the eyes on this sucker are just horrible. Look at those. They're, they're not even even. Um, yeah, for, for the eyes, I, I believe I just used yellow Sharpie on those. If not, I used yellow paint. Um, that's how you paint it. The lettering, now we had a CAD machine that our teacher used. He cut out the letters for us. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else to tell you except eye holes, eye loops, whatever you call them. Screw them into the bottom. That's where the string's going to go. And that that's about all I can tell you. Um, again, mine did not win. Didn't even come close to winning. It beat a couple of cars, but they were even in worse condition than mine. They were big and bulky and all kinds of slow. Um, so I would not suggest using the style that I did. It looks cool, yeah, but it sucks. Um, for a good CO2 car, I would suggest making it light, small, make it as small as you can get it and light as can be, sand it down, get it as skinny as you can possibly, can. don't get as skinny as possibly can because then it'll break, but uh, make it aerodynamic, make it light and small. Um, I honestly don't remember who actually won in my school, but uh, that that's what I would suggest, light and small, aerodynamic. Um, yeah I think that that's it that's about all I can tell you I'm not an expert on this stuff um, but that's how we made ours uh, so if that's helped anybody you're welcome if it hasn't then I would suggest going to a website or somebody else's video that will give you more detailed instructions um, a little bit better instructions as well uh, but that that's how I did it that's how the entire class did it and uh, so that's it okay time for a quick summary of what we just went over you want to trace an outline of your wood product on graph paper then draw an outline of your finished eraser within that uh, outline. Now you want to cut out that outline, tape it to your wood, and cut the outline of your finished eraser onto your wood. Sand it down, heavy grit, then fine grit. Then you want to prime, paint, and add your hardware, and you're done.